All right, guys, let's talk about why things are going to change around here. We've got a warm front that is pushing through. It's been happening all day long. Pretty strong south wind, and because of that, temperatures are not going to drop that much at all tonight. High pressure going off the coast, more of that southerly flow coming in here. We may be looking at wind gusts over 40 miles an hour for a while tonight, and then we've got a cold front that's going to go through. Eventually, a secondary front goes through as well. So by this time tomorrow, temperatures are going down, and tomorrow night will be a lot colder than tonight. And so you know, as this thing does come through, we may be looking at a couple of rain showers. I think we will overnight tonight, perhaps the very beginning tomorrow as well. So this is where the rain is right now. Warm enough for this to be rain this go around maybe a few snow showers by late tomorrow afternoon as temperatures do continue to come down. We had uh, well some bouts of clouds out there today, especially during the first half of the day. We've got a few clouds out there right now, but certainly nothing to worry about. How about that wind though? I mean, we had some pretty stiff wind gusts. Colchester Reef, Burton Island, of course, out on Lake Champlain. So that southerly fetch on the lake. I mean, it was howling almost 50 mile an hour wind gusts. 40 at South Hero, South Burlington at 39, Cumberland Hanks right along the lake shore in northern New York well into the 30s. How about current temperatures, huh? 42 degrees Burlington, 41 Plattsburgh. We've got 40s in northern New York, but on the flip side, the cold air is still in place as you go east of the Green Mountains. Look at the 30s from the Northeast Kingdom right on down to Lebanon and even into Keene. So for you guys, you will be in the coldest area for tonight into tomorrow morning. We've got the chance for a shower or two first thing tomorrow morning. It is going to be breezy. It's going to be mild, certainly for that hour and then mostly cloudy. But I think we'll find a little bit of sunshine mixing in by later in the day. We go to 45 or so in the Champlain Valley and then temperatures dropping by later in the afternoon. So here's Futurecast. Let me show you what to expect. 8 o'clock tonight. Not too much going on, but going to jump you up to 3.30 in the morning. We've got some rain showers around here. That's that cold front going through. So the very beginning of tomorrow, once the sun is coming up, things like that, we've got the chance for a shower. But the likelihood of steady rain is pretty low. We'll take you right through the day. Temperatures are dropping by later in the afternoon. Highest of elevations, maybe a couple of snow showers. Otherwise, quiet, cold on that night. Here comes your Thursday. Actually a pretty nice day. A few clouds late, especially in northern New York. Then another system is coming in. 12 midnight, Thursday night into Friday morning. A little bit of snow, especially at the highest of elevations. But the timing looks pretty good. Looks like by drive time in the morning, we're going to be in OK shape. And we'll continue to keep an eye on that timing for you. Meanwhile, tonight, increasing clouds, some rain showers overnight. Breezy, it's going to be mild, 39. That's it for a low tonight. And here comes your tomorrow. Could find a shower in the morning. Otherwise, it's going to be breezy. Temperatures getting into the 40s for most of us, but then temperatures dropping by a little bit later in the afternoon. Again, that south wind is going to help out. From 44 tomorrow to 42 on your Thursday. A lot of sun, few clouds mixing in late in the day. On Friday in the morning, could find just a little bit of rain or snow. 41 degrees that day. Saturday, Sunday right now looking all right. 39 to 40 degrees. And then Monday, partly sunny. 40 degrees again. And it looks like a pretty good shot for, well, some rain and snow on Tuesday with a high of 42.